Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jake Whip, and I do tutorials for DaVinci Resolve and Fusion just like this one. If that's something you are interested in seeing more of, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on a new video. Today, we're going to be doing a screen replacement inside of DaVinci Resolve, but instead of just layering the video on top and calling it good, we're going to bring back the reflections that were in the original TV shot, and then we will put that onto our new video. If we come over into DaVinci Resolve here, this is what it's going to look like. This is my original shot of my TV, and then we're going to layer in the next video, and as you can see, if we look kind of close here, we can see the reflections inside of our video. Alright, so this looks really good and is extremely easy to do. So let's jump into it. Alright, so I'm just going to disable my top video track here, and then go into my bottom Fusion clip. Head over to the Fusion page, and then we can get started. So first up, we need to track our clip. And I'm going to do that by after the media in, I will add in the tracker node. Then we need to add four trackers, so just click the add button three times. Alright, now we have four. And then what I'll do is I'll just position these at each of the corners of my TV here. And once you get them in the right spot, head over to the adaptive mode and set it to best match. And once you've done that, just hit track forward and let it do its thing. Alright, there we go. We now have our tracks completed. And if we just scrub through our clip, as you can see, they stay pinned onto the corners of the TV, which is exactly what we want. So next up, let's add in the corner positioner node. Okay, and we'll come up to the top left position connect that to the tracker one path position. So that should pin it to the top left of our TV. And we'll do that for the next, um, we'll do that for the next position. So bottom left, that's going to be tracker four. There we go. And the tracker three goes to position. And if you accidentally mess up and connect to the wrong one, you can right click and then just do remove tracker one path uh, right here. Anyways, now that we got that done, I'm going to import my video that I want to use uh, to, or to pin to the TV, and this is just the uh, Earth, like the intro sequence from my uh, 3D Earth tutorial, which you should definitely go check out. This whole 3D Earth was made in the free version of Fusion, so definitely go check out that tutorial. Anyways, I don't want these black bars to be on the side here, so let me add a transform. I'll view that, and I can just scale it up until those are no longer visible. Anyways, I'll take that into the corner positioner, and then I will merge this up after the tracker. And now we have the earth being pinned to the TV. But there are some black bars on the screen that I or that I built in, alright, the letterbox effect. And I don't want that, so after this media in, I'm going to add the transform. And I'll scale it up. Uh, but as you can see, that's just going to be scaling the whole thing up and wrecking the position. So let's add a rectangle mask and put this into the transform node. And set the rectangle to be a width of 1 and a height of 1. All right, and that will make it so that it won't extend past the edges of the screen. So I can scale this up then till about right there. Let's do 1.5. All right, that looks pretty good. We'll keep it there for now. So now after this transform node, you'd want to go through it and put in any color correction that you want just to get it so it kind of matches. What I want to do is add in the grain and I will bring the power down a little bit. All right. Bring it down somewhere around there, just to add a little bit of grain into it, because my shot has some noise. Alright, we can kind of compare down here. Let's see, we can bring up the grain softness. Be a little more power. And you know, just put it somewhere around there, so we just have this little slight grain, just to make it blend a little bit more. Okay, so finally the cool part, which is going to be adding the reflections back in. In order to do that, we need to take the corner positioner, we'll copy it, and paste it. So now we have a second version of that. And we'll take a background node and put this into the corner position node, all right? And if we view this off to the side, we just have uh, the black square following or being pinned to the TV. Let's set this uh, or the background to be white and add in another merge node. With this merge node, I'm going to take my media in, all right? And I'm going to put it into the foreground, so it's going to overlay it again. But I'm going to have this background come in as a mask to the merge node. That won't change anything. What that's doing is making it so that this line right here that's coming into the merge node is only visible where this white rectangle is. So if we come to the merge node and set the apply mode to screen, now we can see our earth through that and we have the reflection overlaid on top of it. But that's just a little bit too intense. You got the very intense reflection. So how to easily change that is just adjusting the blend slider right here. So we can bring this down to let's say about point 
0 0.4, 0 0.35, somewhere in there. And now we just have a slight reflection in the background. Well, that's going to be it for this effect. If you guys found this useful in any way, make sure to leave a like and also drop a comment down below letting me know if you guys have any questions or any tutorial suggestions for the future. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on those. And if you want to support the channel even further, you can do so by hitting the join button to the left of the subscribe button. With all that being said, I'll see you guys next time for another video.